All right, a little something different here, and uh, I'm a little scared. I'm the number one in an IndyCar race at Dover. I have very limited experience in IndyCar. I think I've got like one top five ever, and uh, some embarrassing mistakes in my past. <sighs> I've done plenty of practice. I think I should be able to keep a handle on it. I wanted to start in the back, but uh, as a number one car, that's not even going to get anywhere close to happening, so I guess I'll put a qualifying lap in. Man. <sighs> there aren't too many things to choose from this week that uh, I enjoy. Way too much Martinsville, way too much uh, Talladega. <laughs> I'm sure you've heard me complain about that already enough. If you've watched any other one of my videos this week. So. Hmm. That's why I'm here. Pretty sure it automatically removes fuel for you for qualifying, Nandy Fixed. Yeah. So. That's what's going on there. I don't know the, a darn thing about this, though. I'll be 100% honest with you. Don't know a darn thing about IndyCar. I know that you have to pit in this series, even though it's fixed. Because you won't make it on fuel till the end. Second lap's definitely faster, so we're going to get more guys coming in with... Uh, Best laps here. That's uh, not expecting much from guys uh, that know what IndyCar is all about. They're all saying it's going to be wreck fest here. It's going to be hard to dodge wrecks. I wouldn't know any better. <laughs> you could tell me like, oh yeah, Dover's always the cleanest race, and I'd be like, oh yeah, that's cool. <laughs> that's uh, we're out of fuel, so we can't really run around. Since it automatically puts us at very low fuel. I practice pit stops, just in, on the off chance that we actually get the green stop pitting going on. Uh, hmm. Somehow our time is holding up. I don't have any idea. I, I didn't do anything. I just drove around and held the bottom. I guess that's the right way to do it. I don't understand how I did it better than others. I guess I just stayed smooth. I mean, I have no idea. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. But I guess I did it right. But see, there's nothing to change. It's fixed series. Here it's over. I mean, they got like steering offset, but I, it's like it's like reading a foreign language looking at this. Like steering pinion. That's not steering ratio. <laughs> I'm not changing any of this. Brake bias. I know what that is, but you don't use brake here, so that's not gonna do anything for me and uh, I actually I practiced braking that's how unfamiliar I am with this car I practiced braking because in case I have to dodge a wreck I want to know you know how hard I can get on the brakes without it braking and and spinning or something and uh, it seems like you can get on it pretty hard to get on the brake so I don't know I don't know how to save tires or even if that's a thing I mean, those laps, after those laps, I'm still 100, 100. That's just a couple laps, so maybe that's not a big deal. I know that, uh, you know, I watched uh, Nick Neiman's video. I got uh, well, about a third of the way through it before the race was about to start here. I was trying to get an idea of what to expect. And, uh, I mean, if I get behind someone, there's going to be arrow push. That's always a huge thing in any car, so I know that, so I know to expect that. If I get behind someone, I'll, I'm probably going to have to lift off. So that's interesting. What did I do differently? How am I... How am I... <laughs> How did I get the pole? I don't even know what I'm doing. Uh, I guess I'll just keep driving like that. Maybe something good will happen. I don't know. 
But uh, in practice, I mean, I, I never felt like I was going to loop it or anything. It felt completely fine to me. I know guys like to, um, they've got uh, weight jacker in these things. I know guys like to, you know, run it looser. Helps them get through the uh, arrow tight. Probably makes them a little faster. I'm not going to mess with it. Because uh, I'm not confident. And how this is going? I have to st I have to start the race now from pole. I don't know how to s start in this thing. I mean, I did watch some video of restarts, but uh, that wasn't from P1. That was from uh, you know in the field. It was first gear though, so I guess I'm going first gear. And I know you can't just slam on it or you'll loop it. So I'll watch out for that. Holy cow, I don't... <laughs> I'm basically going in blind here. Very interesting. It's unbelievable that we're going 200 mi miles an hour around Dover. Indy cars are incredible. It blows my mind. These things are terrifying, too. Like, uh, if you get loose, you, you probably are just dead. You probably died. Um, as soon as you get loose, they start writing the inscription on your tombstone. They see it and they're like, alright, order a, order a new one. Because uh, I don't think you're really saving a loose race car with the Indy car. So, <laughs> I mean, maybe the, maybe the fast guys can, but it's, in my experience, if you get loose, it's uh, not a good deal. You don't want to be doing that. So we got like all this in-car stuff. We got engine maps. I know that uh, that can help preserve fuel. And that's the weight jacker I was talking about. Um, it's this way for loose and this way for tight, I believe. But then like some of this stuff, like that's a foreign language. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Graphics adjustments. I know what that is. But uh. I don't know, man. I'm uh, really not anticipating going green the whole way, so I don't think I'll have to do a green flag pit stop, but like I said, I, I did practice that as well. This thing seems to break really well, so that's good. Um, I was able to get it down after a couple uh, practice tries getting into the pits. It's crazy, because you got to go from like 200 down to uh, 35 miles an hour to get into pit lane. That's kind of bonkers. So, um, If you hit that transition between the apron and the track, uh, you die. <laughs> get loose, you die. You hit the transition, you die. If you touch someone, you die. Um, yeah. And when you do, it's a fire explosion. Like, the pieces fly off of these cars. They got the new damage model or whatever on them. And like pieces fly everywhere. <laughs> it's uh, it's something else. I'm so scared. This is Martinsville's fault. Whatever happens, it's Martinsville's fault. Martinsville's fault for uh, being the track this week in NASCAR. We've got to be kidding, guys. <laughs> pretty weak start, but I did not want to loop it and embarrass myself, so. Alright. Hey, they wrecked already. That's interesting. Wow. Well, I'm not the worst one in here, maybe. Alright. That's like half the field, Jesus. Well... You were blinking a little bit in practice. Like, you like one time there. Okay, scar in the middle of one and two. No. I'll let him know, because... <laughs> you got to slow down a lot in these things. they got a lot of broken cars there, it looks like. It's 21st, but it's telling me to let the pace turn by. I don't know what the fuck to do here. Yeah, there's a glitch. Yeah, we have to let we have to let it fly. There will be some one more to go. 
Yeah, there's a glitch uh, if, if they wreck before the race actually like completely starts. Where the guys in the very back uh, get stuck. I'll have to take the wave around, I believe. I think it'll wave you guys if you to go. Yeah. I've seen that before. I've been in their position before. I got blinkers back there. Got people KO'd already. So I guess I can go a little harder on the start. I think once you get the, you're out of spin territory, you're good. I guess broken. He should probably go into pit lane. That car's not gonna really control very well. But uh, if they want to just cause cautions for 80 laps, that is a okay with me. I wonder. I got my crew chief ready to help me with fuel, but it doesn't have an accurate reading yet because we haven't done any laps. So, I have to let it calibrate. I wonder if uh, if they just keep wrecking if I'll have enough fuel to get to the end. Nah, there's no way, right? Like, look how much... It still says we have, like, 50. So we'll have to get fuel at some point. But, uh... I think I'd rather stay in front of it if they're all going to be wrecking all the time. Bug. Hey, I'm good. Yes, it is a bug. Squish it. Wouldn't be a problem though if they didn't wreck before the race even started. But uh, it shouldn't be bad, too bad for them. They're just going to get the wave around. And they'll be right back, uh, right about where they were. To the green. That guy's wheel's about to fall off. You can see it over there. You see that uh, yellow and red guy's front right wheel's about to fall off. They'll get the wave around with one to go, I believe. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try to give that guy distance in case he loses that wheel all of a sudden and spins in front of me you know, under caution, even. Yeah, letting that guy know he has wing damage. Yeah, I'm not gonna wing damage, but I can't fix it. It's gonna be on some pace now. So they're hoping for another quick caution, which, hey, we're one for one on cautions before we even get to get through turn one and two, so. Maybe first place is where I wanted to be. Who's this gentleman up here? They need to let the pace car by too, is that what's going on? A bit strange. They should be uh, going on by now. Okay, Carter, get ready. Race will resume at the end of this lap. Get the 26 car. Catch the pace car. All right. Well, now that that's out of the way, I guess we've saved some fuel. I know there's better ways to save fuel, but I got the black flag for passing the pace car. I never saw the pace car. Yeah. Same here. Yeah, slow way down whenever that stuff happens. It's unfortunate, but all right. Let's see if we can get a good start. Single file restarts in this series. Good start. Better than last time. Sure. He's gonna have draft though. So he might get past me. I am not gonna fight for anything today. Especially if uh, <laughs> I don't need to. <laughs> Alright. Gotta let the pace car by. We have a leader, you have to let the pace car by as well. 
Yeah. Yeah, we gotta let the pace car by, guys. All right, so don't want to end up like the other guy with the black flag. So, gotta wait for that guy to come on through. Should be coming up for too long. Probably gonna be stopped on the exit of the floor and waiting for this guy, the pace car. Why is it like the pace car driver is either so freaking slow or he's like falling on the mat? Yeah. <laughs> I think the main problem so far is that we've been getting yellow before anybody half the field can even stop. There he is. There we go. No black flag for me. Maybe I do want to start saving. What's it like, engine map 8 or something? For maximum savage. Now it's saying we got like 200 labs worth. That's funny. Well, we'll just roll around. <laughs> yeah, probably having better race in the street stocks. That's what I was saying when I went there. I was having a better race there than Martinsville. <laughs> That's funny. The schedule's so bad this week. There's so many just dangerous races. It looked like that guy behind was about to get a run on me. Catch up to me because draft is huge in these things. But, uh, caution comes out. <clears throat> this is going to be a long one. If we're uh, going 45 miles an hour through the whole thing. So do I have to serve a penalty as soon as the race restarts, or can I wait until my regular pit stop? The black flag got served on the green. Yeah. You only got, I don't know how many laps it is, but they're very limited of our laps yet, so we would have been like two or three years ago. I think it's dirty. I think the best is to go in the pits now and don't do anything, just drive by the pit lane, follow the back, and then hit as soon as it goes green. I hope for yellow. Yeah, good advice. Because you got to serve your black flags under green flag. Yeah, that's correct. That stinks for those guys. I've been there before where you get a really cheap black flag because of uh, some weird eye racing stuff. The guys wrecking immediately. Oh! Excuse me. I'm going to make sure I change this back. Because if I start trying to go on engine map 8, I'm going to go like 2 miles an hour. So, I believe, I might be looking stupid, this might not even be the uh, engine saving. <laughs> engine map. But, uh... I'm pretty sure it is. Yo, Car, looks like you got a good suspension up there. You're bouncing all around. Wonder if the guys with damage are just gonna. That means we're gonna be even, getting even more guys wrecking. I'm gonna go ahead and switch this back. I, I'm too nervous about forgetting to change it back. So. Alright, we had a good start last time. Maybe we can get that going again. No idea how much fuel we actually have. Let's try to get a lap in here. <laughs> yeah, let's try to get a lap in. Or not, we can wreck all the way to the end if we want. I mean, it's kind of an unfortunate way to get your first IndyCar win, but I'll take it. I wasn't going to get it otherwise, I don't think. But I'm sure the I'm sure they'll have a chance to pass me at some point. Pace car is about to go off. The pace car is off. Be ready. Good start. I 
Like I said, I've never felt loose or anything in practice, so. Uh oh, <laughs> guys. Did he try to pit and hit the barrel? Oh, that's unfortunate. We got some wrecks, but uh, they were all on the apron, so they didn't count. Whoa! I just, I just saw a ghost. Holy smokes, that was terrifying. I thought I was about to get hit by a fake person. Alright, go ahead. I don't know what I'm doing. That, that is terrifying me. I don't even know if there's a person there. around. I guess you just want to be on the bottom. Is that what I'm learning? Yeah, you guys can have all the spots. I'm just learning. Is that guy wrecking? Woo! So close to me. Oh my god, this is scary. He's trying to keep it steady. Okay, clear. Well, isn't this interesting? It's kind of like a super speedway. And there's a yellow. Slow them down, guys. Slow them down. Why is everyone disconnecting? Oh my gosh, I think a, a service provider just freaked out. A whole service provider. For a second, I had to live. I know you. Whenever you see like multiple people, uh... Wow, they're checking up hard here for no reason. I almost got hit. Anyway. Uh, when you see like that many people disconnect at once, it makes me wonder like if there was a whole region service provider that went out or something. Like Spectrum in the East or something. Because that was a whole lot of people. Wow. Alright. Yeah, I'm just here to learn. I don't care if I win or not. I'm not going to block anyone or do anything stupid. So. That's why I'm just, you know, if I'm on the high side, I'm not going to force my way down there. And uh, thankfully it looks like uh, we're not going to get dead last. Lots of casualties already, whether it's internet or lost in battle. <laughs> I think we'll be good on fuel to the end. Six point five gallons. Crew chief saying words. Six point five gallons. I don't know what that means, sir. You're saying an amount of fuel. I, that doesn't give me any context. Okay, well. <laughs> I didn't get my uh, crew chief guy um, calibrated like my old one was as well, so I don't have all the settings exactly how I want them, but that's cool. <clears throat> Say anything else? 6.5 gallons. 6.5 gallons. I don't know what that means. Why is this guy getting up next to me? Why are you doing this to me? Get away. I'm nervous enough already. Pulling up next to me. <sighs> you get two sets of tires. It's interesting. Haven't really seen any need to switch them out. I mean, those couple of laps I did of qualifying, they stayed at 100%, so we haven't really done very many laps yet here either, so why is this guy pulling up next to me? What is your problem? It's single wide restarts. Does he think that he's starting on the outside of me? I don't, I don't know. It's 
So let me make sure I remember to turn that back to one. fun when we were going racing these uh, finely tuned machines now I get to start uh, part way through the pack see how that goes Here's engine map one and then I'll make sure I get back into first gear Got this big thing in my eyeballs. <laughs> the, uh, what do they call it, a halo or something. Protects the driver. Protects the virtual driver from getting ahead in a jury. <laughs> Very important in real life. But, uh, not doing much in the virtual world except blocking my view. Good start. Kind of sleeping behind us. But uh, they got out in front of us ahead, too. So I guess you can call that an average start. I don't have any context to know any better. Alright, sixth gear. Watching out for arrow push. No seventh gear, just checking. I usually could have been wrong about that. Don't really see a need for best lap or anything, because, like I said, it's kind of like a super speedway. Doing a tiny bit of lift in the corner, just to, in case we're getting tight from arrow push. If they wreck in front of us, there's nothing I'm going to be able to do about it. I can tell you that. Catching that bind. I'm going to, I mean, I'm going to have to be a great, oh, 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 oh. Well, that was scary. Woo! All right, well, we we're back in third after that guy hit the wall. I don't know how that guy didn't die hitting the wall. Yeah, don't expect that to work every time. Usually these things, you hit a flea and it explodes. So uh, that was fortunate. <laughs> we were able to navigate it and get back to third. And uh, something happened. Who knows what? Uh, I don't even know if we need to save fuel anymore, but I guess I will. I think he's counting down how many gallons we need to finish this race. So I think I do want to save some more. I will take track position. You guys can go on ahead. I'm not entering the fray. I feel like we can save enough fuel with how many cautions we're getting. And uh, I assume all the cautions are happening back there, so I am not interested. We'll take our P2 and single file, so it's not like you get the randomness of inside outside lane. That's nice. I think I prefer single file restarts, to be honest with you. As long as uh, we don't get a choose cone rule, I think that's going to be the case. So we survive another caution. How many people are alive? Those guys are all lapped down. We've got, uh, what, nine cars on the lead lap? Unless that 21 is about to go lap down because he has damage. Don't think so. He might have been one of the guys that pit. I wasn't really paying attention. Put this back where it belongs. Interesting. I guess the better way to look at it would have been here. So now we can see who's lapped down. So. Yeah, I mean, about 10 cars on the lead lap. That guy that pit might be uh, might be onto something. Maybe. I don't think uh, I don't think you get to pass the lap down cars though, so they can continue wrecking. So I don't know about that. I'm not 100% sure on the rules of IndyCar, but I think the uh, 
Lap cars stay right where they are. I don't think there's a lucky dog or anything. We would have had one by now if there was, so I guess I could say there is not a lucky dog. But, uh, tons of guys. A lap down. It's interesting. Yeah, that must be uh, how much fuel we need to save. That's quite a bit, actually. But I think we can do it if we're going to have a caution every two laps. Because I think that's assuming we're going to be green to the end, and I uh, program my crew chief to give me a little excess fuel, um, just so I have a little extra to finish. I like having that just in case we get, you know, in an uh, oval series uh, that has uh, green white checkered or something. I don't think this has green white checkered, so it's not a thing here. But you want extra fuel if you're gonna potentially have a green white checkered. So I like to have a little extra fuel, you know, a safety net programmed into the uh, my crew chief, my crew chief guy. Four point eight gallons. Four point eight gallons. Are you sure? We can do 250 laps. And look how fast it's going. Yeah, but it goes down just as fast. Resume. I just love the accent. <laughs> so I'll start in P2. We'll just be able to go as soon as this guy does. Hit the brake or the throttle as much as possible. Trying to uh, maximize my fuel saving here since apparently we still don't have enough to m make it to the end. Okay, getting ready. Tires might be a little uh, more worn now, so maybe there's more chance for slippage. I'm gonna have to watch for that. can really step on it. I don't know. Did the leader slap the wall there? <laughs> or did I see things? I thought it looked like he hit the wall on entry. Probably just seeing things. These things twitch so much. Okay. Wow, there's a gap behind us. What's going on? I'm cool with just staying behind this guy if this draft is going to keep us moving forward, but I don't think that's a thing. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Don't want to do any aggressive moves. Not right now. And that's a caution. Caution. We got a little pace going by again. Joyous wonder. That's my favorite. So I am immediately going to start saving. Hey, your pace car's coming a little quicker this time. Yeah, I had a freaking football field in the break. I don't know what it was about. Oh, the pace car's going slow now, though. Gotta let it catch up. Oh, there's a dead guy. Hello. Rest in peace. Hello, pace car. Speaking of deceased, we've got a ghost pace car phasing through us. Happy Halloween. I'm liking the spot we're in. I really, uh, I don't think pitting and being back there is in my best interest. I wonder if that guy that pit has got into that. I really think I want to be up here where it's safe and warm. Even if the warmness is from this guy's exhaust. Second's fine with me too. Seems like the couple of guys up front here kind of have, uh, have it figured out. They don't seem to be doing anything too crazy dangerous. So, I guess it's time to play. How many are in the lead lap now? Looks like about seven. We might have people uh, damaging the pits, too. Man, this, uh, they weren't kidding. The people that know IndyCar, they were right. It's uh, pretty much a wreck fest. We're not even halfway through. This is going to be a six hour video. Four gallons. 
Four gallons. I think we're going to be okay on fuel. I really do. Got another uh, taker, though, for pit road. I guess we might want to think about tires, though, too. I mean, it doesn't feel like we need them. I know I've heard uh, you, know, you don't necessarily get loose or tight when the tires wear here in IndyCar, but you kind of just go slower. So that's interesting. But uh, we seem to get away just fine. We had like a second lead after the first lap. I think we just had such a, a so much better of a jump on that guy in third. So uh, we'll keep an eye out, but uh, I think I'm fine holding it uh, up here. I don't want to get behind those lap cars, you know, be the next guy to be in the wreck. I'm going to stay up front here as long as possible, I think. And uh, the way they're uh, dying out back there. I mean, it seems like we lose about two every caution. We're going to be like the final two left up here <laughs> at some point. I hope this uh, engine map 8 is actually the fuel saving one and not the uh, burn all of your fuel setting. Each, each map has a different thing and I don't think they're sequential either. It's not like one is the fastest and eight is the least fast. I think uh, they have different ones. I think 8 might be the only use under yellow flag setting where you save a bunch of fuel. So, hope I'm right. I think uh, just rolling around here in 6th year, I think that's going to do a pretty good job anyway, too. Only 3.4 more to save, sounds like. And uh, the cautions don't seem to be slowing down. So... I'm okay with where we're at. We got uh, the guy in first, me, and then the guy in third, a 25. And then a nice handful of lap cars. Yeah, there's, they're just leaving one by one, it looks like. Guys with broken cars. That's another thing about an Indy car, too, is if uh, you damage your car in here, yeah, there's not much leeway. The car kind of just falls apart. It's like drop, dropping something made of Legos. Just pieces of it go everywhere. We got hit from behind somehow. Impatient 25, and then you got the world's worst start. It's interesting. Okay. Glad he didn't hurt us. You can have fun back there the lap cars. And uh, we'll uh, have fun up here by ourselves, us and the seven. Hey buddy, you're not gonna wreck, right? Nah, we're good. I'm not even gonna try to pass him. Why would I slow us down like that and get us into the mess? I'm just gonna enjoy having his draft and uh, watch the deficit behind us and as long as that doesn't get uh, too much lower, I am just going to sit right here. Because we are not even halfway through this race, believe it or not. Now if we get some green laps here, I'll be able to check uh, that estimated laps. As you can see, it's dropping precipitously. Because it's trying to calibrate, since we haven't even done any green, <laughs> green runs so far, essentially. So that's why uh, it's hard to know exactly how much you have. It says we just need to save three gallons. Which is a lot, but... Uh, uh, what have we here? Okay. So these are the guys that scare me. These lap cars, they might have damage or something. They've gotten into a wreck before and you don't know if they were the one that did it. So... Give them a lot of room. You don't know what's going on there. Let's uh, seem okay. Catch up to our buddy up here in first. With the, with the draft. Thirty-two laps of fuel. That's not quite enough to make it to the end. 
Yeah, Lapcar's getting our draft, so he's catching up. I really hope that doesn't mean he's going to try to pass us. He has no reason to. I believe I want to change the fuel map a little bit. Because uh, if this does go green, we're going to want to save. So I think if we do that, we'll save some. I really wish this guy would go away. Yeah, really good lap, guys. Can... What are you doing, man? We got another slow guy right here. About hitting a wall. Good lord. Watch this lap car come wreck the leader. 2.9 gallons. Got no lead lap guys on our relative behind us. We got people getting dumped. I think I see a hint of smoke billowing. So, lap car takes the quote unquote lead. Congratulations. It's playing pretend, I guess. Um, we're holding steady. The uh, number four back there in thirds got the lap cars to deal with. Saving fuel. Gradually saving uh, fuel. I think we can save, maybe. Let me see. 2.6. So that's fluctuating a lot, actually. Um, so we'll save fuel. Make sure we can reach the end. Two point nine. That went up. Oh my god! If you can't make a lap around here, don't get in a race with other people. If you can't go around the circle without hitting the apron, you need more practice. <sighs> no wonder there's all these wrecks behind us. Wow, I'm a little nervous on this uh, fuel now. Lifting a bit because I'm going to let this sort itself out a little bit. There's a lot of lap cars and they're all here at once. So. There's not a rush to get through them as we are just trying to save fuel anyway. He's taking the low line for some reason. Right in front of me. Top of my line, please. Thank you. Our fuel now. 2.6. Ooh, we're gonna have to really save. I think I'm gonna move this over even more. I hope I know how to use that right. I might not. I think there's still gonna be caution by the end of this, but uh. Ooh, yeah, now we're saving. 2.2. Two. I think uh, we're gonna get another caution before the end of this, but. In case we don't, I want to be prepared. What is this guy doing? He's taking a super high line. Making me nervous. It won't matter if we get passed by, say, that three car, if uh, if they can't make it to the end on a fuel. Okay. Guy's saying sorry, so there's plenty of mistakes happening still. Guys behind. I think everyone might be saving just a bit. Three. Okay, lap car is getting way too close to me. If you want to pass me, this is a pretty wide track, man. I'm not 
sure what to do. I've never been in this situation before in Indy. I know that uh, fuel conservation is a big thing in this series, but I've never uh, actually had a situation where I had to save. So I'm probably doing it all wrong. But uh, what's the worst can ha that can happen if I save fuel here? I mean, you saw how many people were on the lead lap. Was it what, only like seven? So, I have to make like six. seven gallons I like the idea of being the only guy that can make it to the end on fuel of the guys that stayed out I mean obviously and uh, in this case we won't have to fly by uh, lap cars as much either Six gallons to save. Not too bad. Four point zero to the guy behind. One point eight gallons. Hmm. I wonder if the guys up front can't save. I mean, I'm probably doing all kinds of stuff wrong. It's saving fuel. I, there might have been ways that I could have been saving much more all along. And so those guys up front can make it, or they could just be hoping that we get another yellow. 1.5, all right. Nineteen laps. Ooh, we're kind of close. It's starting to get more calibrated too. I have to watch it. Six gallons. All right, we'll let this lap card go by if uh, he wants, because we are saving fuel and he is not, I assume. He seems patient, though. He might not be in a hurry either. Point six gallons. Point seven nine. A little draft will help us out. Five. I'm just counting it down. And even if these guys uh, can make it to the end, I'm still in third. I think uh, you know, I'm pretty happy. I think the thing I want to make sure I can do most is make it to the end. 1.2, alright. We made some good progress there. Uh oh. Is that the caution? Oh no. Okay, well, we're good on fuel now. <laughs> so much for that. So I catch up to him. I had a feeling we'd get another caution, but I started having doubts because we had a pretty nice green run there. That was nice. I actually got to race the race today. I wasn't quite sure if that was going to happen. So here's the deal. We're pitting. However, Taking just the smallest splash of fuel. Point five or so. And we're taking tires. There aren't very many people on the lead lap. That's why we're doing this. And we'll have fresh tires. Oof, this thing stopped so quickly. Oh, 
We got enough fuel to make it at the end because we didn't have to take very much. That might have uh, got us out in front of some guys, maybe. Let me be very careful because it's really easy to spin down here and that would just be probably the most embarrassing thing possible. So, let's not do that. We got loads of fuel now. Not worried about it. We probably did even if we didn't take fuel because of how soft we were. Go in. So now we can just race to the end. Have some fun. So are we able to get in front of these lap cars? I don't know the rules. I feel like maybe there's a rule where you can uh, where you go around the lap cars if it's near the end of the race. I think I've heard that before. That might be dirt racing or something I'm thinking about. AKA another series that I know very little about and con <laughs> yeah, like uh, concerning the rules. So we're in third. Guy up front did not pit, so he must be good on fuel. We have tires though. Uh, what were our tires at? Let's take a look at that. Uh, 87, 82. So they were pretty worn. So we might have a little bit more grip than the guys up front. However, we are behind some lap cars, which is scary. Don't know quite why they feel like they need to be up here. I guess they're racing people, but like you got the six car behind the seven and the eight, so that means that they are on different laps. I don't know. I, I guess I guess that's just how it works here. I don't know. <laughs> I can't criticize it. I don't know how the rules work. So we'll just have to be careful. Maybe they'll give us uh, some extra room since we're actually going for the lead. I centered that on the pace car for some reason. It's all the yellow. So let's see if uh, it commands us to get around them. Okay, yeah, we're still gaining, so we're fine. What's it saying? No, nope, okay, so we're still going to be behind these lap cars. Right? No, no, okay, we do get the passing. All right, awesome. So now we're in good position. I think the uh, leader's going to regret not pitting there. I think he would have wanted those tires. So, okay. Let me up top, please. Thank you. So... We're second of guys that have new tires. We're good on fuel to the end for sure. So now uh, it's gonna be a four car battle. So we got this 21 behind us too. Let's see if we can get a good jump. And uh, not too much longer to go either. It's gonna be uh, seven to go when we get restarted here. Probably gonna be pretty intense. We are the surviving few. Apparently I got a terrible start. And I know why. I did the thing that I don't want to do. I told I spell so I wasn't going to do. Oh my god, I can't believe I did that. I told you! I told you it was gonna happen! I stayed in engine map 8. Sorry about that start, I was in the wrong engine map. Oh jeez, that's embarrassing. That's a rookie thing to do. Which makes sense, I'm a rookie. So. <sighs> Got that draft though! Mighty run. See, this is that guy that uh, doesn't have those new tires he's gonna wish he had. Is he blocking? Yep. Zoom around him. Couldn't waste any time because we're coming. To four to go. We're trying to catch this leader. So can we get by him? draft. Do we have the skill? No. <laughs> Do I even want to get past him right now? I think I'm going to set him up. I think I'm going to set him up for a pass near in the last lap, because otherwise he's probably going to do the same. So I think what I want to do is wait just a little bit. 
Wait a minute. They're gonna wreck. I can't wait. <laughs> Hold on. Let me get by them right now. I don't think I can pass on the outside, I'll be honest. Mmm, I tried. Mmm, P2, alright. Didn't want to rack him. I tried, but... Whew, for a guy that doesn't do IndyCar, I'm pretty happy with a 2, even if I was technically supposed to win, according to iRacing. <laughs> Good way, man. All right. Whew. It's pretty crazy. Driving these cars around here. We didn't die somehow. That's pretty magical. <laughs> I'm excited to see what happened out there because you know it's going to be pretty... There's going to be some parts flying. Two at 26. All right. I don't even know what he said to me, to be honest. I hope it wasn't like, you suck. Because <laughs> I, <laughs> I just said, yeah, good race, man. <laughs> Seems kind of going off for and kill me. I was on this. Yeah, I, I feel kind of bad on that start. I hope I didn't ruin that guy's race. What'd he say? Yeah, it sure is, boys. Was it him? Thank you. Okay, good win, made sense. Yeah, I just said good one, so <laughs> that makes sense. You know, when uh, whenever the race ends, usually I'm, I've got the adrenaline running high, so kind of block everything out. <laughs> That's uh, how that usually goes. So, all right, qualified pole somehow. Don't even know how I did that, and then uh, finished P two. All right, let's uh, see what happened. This is on the initial start. That was odd. So that's what caused that confusion on the start. I I don't know what that was. I don't know how to explain this. Was this tire broken already? How did that happen? Did they wreck? Oh my god, they wrecked before the race even started. Oh, uh, there was a checkup. Okay. That's very unfortunate. So, how did this start? It's just a chain reaction, an accordion. This guy wasn't paying attention quite enough, but is just barely able to stop in time. But that gives this guy even less time to react. And then this guy even less, less time to react. He smacks him. And uh, he seems... Is he okay? Now he broke his wing. But uh, more importantly, it broke this guy's tire. And so when he's starting to go, maybe he doesn't even realize what's happened to his car. So we start to go, and he's not going. He's like, what's going on here? And then the wheel breaks. I think the suspension on the wheel breaks, and that's what caused that. So I was trying to say... Like, uh, these things are fragile. You get tapped like that, it's not a stock car. Your, uh, your wheel's gonna fall off. So that's what caused that first caution. And it started before the race even started. We got more co uh, contact on the pace lap, or is it just showing this guy because he has damage? I think that's the case. Cause this is the guy that was part of the accordion as well. Okay, it's blinking. That was that was interesting. I uh, I guess he was damaged too from something, and maybe he didn't. He was trying to pit, but he couldn't turn. And, uh, his car explodes. Contact. Oh, we got lots of
lots of blinking guys. Yeah, I remember that ghost that was on the on the track earlier. It was flashing in and out. I didn't know if it was really there. It sure was scary. Guys, uh, hitting the wall on entry. Oh, yikes! Some rear end contact. It's a broken wing, so that uh, 21 car is gonna have trouble turning. That's some real contact there. Oh, that's a pile up. So what we have? We've got that purple and green just swerved all over the track. Guess he got loose on exit, and then well, you get these guys come together, and they they bait a huge mess. They just shoot up the track. And now they're there's just a big mess. Anyone else get into it? Nah, everyone seems to slow down pretty good. Oh, oh, never mind. Oh, he came back up on the track. So these things, too, once your car's broken, you can't really brake. You're kind of just going where it tells you to go. Oh, man, everyone's just slowly getting caught in it. <laughs> this guy had a long time to uh, slow down and chose not to. Oh, he got by it. It was a guy. It was a guy even further back that got into it. That's unfortunate. So his wheels didn't actually fall off. It, the game predicted they did, but they kind of fixed themselves. But he's definitely got damage still. So he's trying to get to the pits, it looks like. He's exiting the pits, it looks like. Don't know why we're seeing it. Wall on the straight. Almost contact, you kind of had to dodge out of the way. Blinking out, it looks like. Oh, no. That was curious. What happened there? Oh my gosh, I got all the cameras messed up. Ooh, he just pushed really bad. That's interesting. I, I don't think the arrow push should have been that bad. It almost looked like he maybe tried to dodge to the right a bit to make a move, but he did it at the wrong spot, and it really sent him up the track. So he hit the wall pretty hard. Kind of tries to protect the bottom there, but not quite. Okay, yeah, I remember. This is when the I think this is when the guy hit the wall, and we were weren't we back here? Yeah. I feel like I re might remember that. Maybe not. Might have been looking at something else. But, uh, glad that wasn't a wreck in front of us, because I don't know if we would have been able to dodge it. Lots of wall contact. I, oh, that must have broke his car, because now, now he's hitting the inside wall. Well, <laughs> that was unfortunate. He's a guy that was leading for a while, but lost it when he didn't take the tires. Where'd he end up? Fourth. Wow, he even got past uh, by the 21. Uh-oh. What happened here? What happened here, here? Another guy. Wrecked. Oh, okay. So that's when he got in the inside wall. Oh, and he got clipped. I didn't even see that in the first pass. And he's up in the wall. That's unfortunate. I say that too much. But uh, that's all it takes. These cars get tapped just a tiny bit. He's, his whole wheel's probably damaged. This is looking accordion-ish. Yep, he runs into that guy. Almost three wide up there. Oh my goodness. Oh no. So I think this guy maybe checked up because these guys were almost going three wide and kind of hits the wall maybe because he was watching them and then this guy comes out of nowhere he straight runs him over. Coming in at a thousand miles an hour. Yeah, he went in there real fast and then this guy runs into the back of him. You can uh, Get on the brake pretty hard, but 
There's also a, a point where if you hit it too hard, you spin around. So it's uh, kind of a hard thing to break properly. I feel like he could have gone it on it a little harder and maybe avoided it, but that's hard to say. You know. Get another view of it. Ooh, might tap that other guy too. But, uh, more destroyed vehicles. Fourth place, Lincoln. Oh no, that's some serious net code. Yeah, that that'll happen when you're going at such high speeds, because uh, that gives the uh, that gives eye racing less time to predict what's gonna happen, and uh, you know, internet connection has its limits. So here it saw this guy moving a little bit up, but mostly this guy moving very much down and so it figured oh they're gonna continue and then have contact and uh, that's what happened there that stinks for that guy because he was in third at the time but uh, his race didn't even end up all that bad because so many people had wrecked already okay, it's blinking I do wanna see the final restart because I felt kinda bad about the bad start I got because I feel like I might have messed up that guy's race I wanna take a look at it A little bit of wall energy. I don't even know if that really happened. Thinking I'm gonna just skip that guy whenever he comes up because it's just his connection. Big run, big block. I don't even know if he's he might not have even saw that guy. He might have been trying to make his own move. Getting a run on this guy, but then was too dramatic about it, first of all. And then uh, he didn't see the other guy looking uh, on the inside to him. And I contact. Did anyone come flying in and hit him? Nah, it doesn't look like it. Blinking guy. He's been leaving pit road? No. Not sure why we're seeing that. Man, that's more that's more prediction code. It's unfortunate. I think it doesn't help that they have such high banking here too. I think that's gonna be a thing. But, uh, he gets off the surface. This three it looks like three out of four broken tires. Whoa. Not sure what's going on there. At the end race? Alright. So I just want to check uh, that final restart. I just want to see how bad I messed up that poor guy. Let's see. When was the last... Uh, is this one we were coming to the green? Is it this one? Yeah. Thank goodness he didn't just run me over. I would have deserved it. Really could have passed me by then, because uh, once the green's out, I think you could have gone around there. I mean, he's still right behind me. I don't know why he wouldn't have been able to catch up like me, because by now I fixed my engine map. So he should be able to catch right back up to me, but uh, it seems like I just pull away. So we got back up there near the front, so I don't know what. Uh, maybe he was in the wrong engine map too. Maybe he needed to to save fuel? I have no idea. But uh, we were able to catch right back up. Past the guy with the uh, worn tires. Didn't want to waste too much time with him. So I just did. Uh, I don't think he was planning on blocking anyway. He seemed to have a good idea of what's going on. So we make it around him. And uh, we get up there. We reach him because of the draft, but uh, couldn't find a way around him. He did what he needed to. and block the bottom. It seems like that was the only way to get past. Tried to find a way, you know, maybe to uh, get him on exit, but look, he's, he's protecting the bottom. Perfectly fine. So I think, okay, maybe I can get a run. If I enter high. But, uh, no such luck. Yeah. 
that's that. So nothing I can do if he uh, protects that bottom well enough. Nothing that I know how to do anyway. <laughs> Maybe a more skilled person knows how to get that done, but uh, I'm not going to wreck myself uh, from a silver medal either. So, all right, that was fun. I enjoyed that. Um, I have a feeling about, uh, let's see, hmm, 26 minus 3, probably about uh, 23 people didn't have as much fun, but uh, <laughs> that was, uh, I had a good time. I think uh, staying out front really helped us out there, not getting into those wrecks. So, all right, some good luck. I love it. I uh, hope you uh, enjoyed it as well. See ya.